so class 9 today we will discuss the topic expansion so before we start this topic we write some formulas so first formula is a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square we know this formula now we know what is the area of the square area of the square is side square suppose this is square so this side is this length is a and from this length is b so side of this square is a plus b so area a plus b whole square now we draw the line here this length a this length b this length a this length b this length a this length b so opposite sides of a rectangle are equal now what is the square of what is the area of this square area of this square is a square area of b square is b square and area of this rectangle with length is b width is a so area of this rectangle is ab similarly this area is ab now what is the total area of this figure so figure of this area of this figure a square plus ab plus b square plus ab so result is a square plus 2ab plus b square so area of the square is a plus b similarly area of this square is also a square plus 2ab plus b square so these two are equal so formula of a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square now we know the second formula that is a minus b whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square basic this two formula a plus b whole square and another one is a minus b whole square now from these two formula we derive 
some other formulas. So first we find a square plus b square that is a square plus b square. So result is if we transpose this here that means plus 2ab becomes minus 2ab. So result is a plus b whole square minus 2ab. Similarly from here if you transpose this to left side result is a minus b whole square plus 2ab. So a square plus b square two formulas. One is a plus b whole square minus 2ab. Another one is a square plus b square formula is a minus b whole square plus 2ab. Now we add these two formula we, if we add these two formula what is the result here if we add a square plus a square that is 2 a square if we add this b square plus b square it becomes 2 b square so left hand side 2 into a square plus b square and right hand side minus 2ab plus 2ab is cancelled out so result is a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square now next again from these two formula one is a plus b whole square minus 2ab and another one is a plus b whole square plus 2ab. If you subtract these two formula then what is the result? This minus this 0, this minus this 0. So a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square minus 2ab here minus 2ab that means minus 4ab if you transpose in the left side that becomes plus 4ab so formula of 4ab is a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square Now from this formula we can write a plus b whole square equals to if we uh, transpose this left side then it becomes a minus b whole square plus 4ab if we transpose this into left side and this into right side it becomes a minus b whole square minus becomes plus and plus becomes this side minus a plus b whole square minus 4ab so from basic these two formula we derive some other formulas now Again we count this formula that is 4ab. If we divide by 4 in both sides, what is the result? Here ab divide by 4 that means a plus b by 2 whole square. Here also a minus b by 2 whole square. 
So another formula of AB that is product of two terms A plus B whole square by 4 minus A minus B whole square by 4. Now, okay, now we write some special product formula. Special product formula that means x plus a x plus b what is the result result is this into this that is x square plus a into b with sign that is plus a b now add this two term a and b a plus b and multiply by x this is the result now next x plus a x minus b so here plus b becomes minus b so result is x square plus and product of these two here plus a into minus b that is minus a b. Now next formula x minus a x plus b here minus and this is un this sign is unchanged. So, this into this x square minus a into plus b it becomes minus a b. Now, minus a if you common minus a common so a minus b into x. And the third fourth formula if x minus a into x minus b that is x square minus a plus b plus a b. So this fourth is the special product formula. Now we write Some other formula a plus b plus c whole square. Here three terms that is trinomial. Before we write some binomial terms. Now binomial means two terms. Here three terms. So a plus b plus c whole square. What is the formula of this? a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into product of 2. That means a b next plus b c plus c a. Now next, if formula of a plus b minus c whole square we find, what is the result? Here plus c becomes minus c. So same, that is a square, that means a plus b plus of minus c. So result is a square plus b square minus c whole square plus product of 2 that is a into b this into this minus bc this into this minus ca and the result is 
a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab minus bc minus ca so a plus b plus a plus b minus c whole square formula is this now if we find a minus b minus c formula what is the result now from this rule we can easily write the formula that is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into product of these two a into minus b minus a b minus b into minus c plus b c a into minus c that is minus c a so result is this now one important thing in this type of chapter that is if a plus b whole square is 25 find the value of a plus b So a plus b whole square is 25. So a plus b is square root of 25. That means 5. If you write plus 5, then you deduct. You will get the loose marks. Because here when you square root, you give the plus minus sign. So if a plus b whole square is 25, that means the value of a plus b is plus minus 5, not only plus 5, because plus 5 whole square 25 and minus 5 whole square also 25. So value of a plus b is either plus 5 or minus 5. Okay. Now next formula. That is. A plus B whole cube formula. What is the formula? The formula is A cube Here first term is A and last term is B. So first A cube and the last term is B cube. Now square of the first term and then product of b that means a square into b this product three times so 3 a square b plus square of the second terms product with first term and multiply by 3 that means b square a so a plus b whole cube formula is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube if we take from common here 3ab then we can write 3ab a plus b plus b cube so a plus b whole cube formula is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b now next 
a minus b whole cube. This formula also same but alternative plus minus signs. So if first sign plus a that means a cube, next sign is minus again plus alternative sign plus minus plus minus like this p a b square minus b cube. So a minus b whole cube formula is a cube minus 3 a square p plus 3 a b square minus b cube. If you take common here 3 a b so a cube minus b cube minus 3 a b a plus b a minus b so now from these two formula from this formula if we find the a cube plus b cube value what is the value of a cube plus b cube that means we have plus 3ab into a plus b this term if you transpose this we have plus if you side change the side then becomes minus that means a plus b whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b and from this a cube minus b cube that is a minus b whole cube plus 3ab into a minus b so these two formulas now another formula of a cube plus b cube is a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square and another formula of a cube minus b cube is a minus b that is factorization formula of a cube plus b cube and a cube minus b cube here plus so a cube plus b cube formula is a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square and a cube minus b cube formula is a minus b a square plus b a b plus b square now what is the result of this a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c if you factorize this term, the result is a plus b plus c a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a. Now, if a plus b plus c is 0. If this term is 0, then right side 0 into this. So right side is 0. So if a plus b plus c is 0, then a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc equals to 0. That means a cube plus b cube plus c cube equals to 3 into a b c